Nah, but one more time, one more time. What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Trying to Talks. We're back here with another interview. Today we got a brand. Introduce yourself. My name is May, part of Live for Money, Dr. Cash, clothing brand slash music group. I'm here today with Trent Talks. I'm about to do an interview. Let's get it. All right, man. So uh, I first grabbed, I grabbed my first merch from you in 2018. You uh, was one of the first people I seen really pushing merch, and I liked it because it was, it was creative. Like you had, you had a lot of different colors, different designs. So like, I mean, you see, I'm not a new customer. Like I've been rocking. Um, you see him rocking my stuff. We all, we all should love to each other. So tell them a bit about your journey and how you came into making. I mean, live for money. It all started off as like just a little brotherhood, a little lifestyle, and we had a group for it. But as time went by, I feel me, I created a clothing line for it. I thought about it. I'm like, I might as well make a clothing brand out of it and just had it instead of just having it as a name. You feel me? So I started off with shirts, and then as I grew into it, I started doing hoodies and sweatsuits and customizing people's stuff just to get the brand name out there. And feel me as like 2018 to 2020, I started doing my stuff on my own. I was going to people, but when you go to people, this is a little tip. When you go to other people, you're not going to make back your money that you would make back if you're doing it on your own, feel me? Facts. So it's, it's better. Yeah, it's better to do it yourself. Get your own equipment, your own supplies. You're making back your own work, feel me? It's all good into it. But feel me, I grew a lot in this business, and feel me, I'm just trying to. Go as far as I can with it for real. Yeah, about three years in. Yeah, about three about years about in. Three years in. I always had the idea about the clothing, but I never knew what to do with it until Lift the Money came out. I mean, it's a brotherhood for real, but we try and make it as a worldwide thing. It's really a lifestyle. Everybody want to live for money, so we gonna live for money. All right, man. The only the only issue I get when I wear your stuff would be the old heads. Like, why would you want to live for money, Dr. Cash? <laughs> and like. We had a conversation about it, and I understood what you meant by it, but I feel as if that's something you should clear up. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not really like we're going to die for money. Like, we're not out here just trying to get a buck to die for it. I say that as, like, I'm on the live for money side, feel me? So it's cool to want to die for cash, but, like, it's all right to get, to get money however you want to get it out here, but at the same time, you can't live without having money, you feel me? So that's really what living money comes in at. Like, there's no fool, like, there's no fun in life if you broke, feel me? And we a winning team, so, like, we got to get money. And I mean by, like, Dr. Cash really is, like, we come from poverty. So a lot of people really out here hustling, grinding, working, just to put food on the table for their family. So it don't matter if you work in a nine to five or you, feel me, got a street life. Like, people sell drugs to get money. That's what I mean by like die for cash. People go will hard. do anything. Yeah, they go hard for that. Like we from poverty, so it really we really failed every day to get this money. Like if you out here just broke sitting around, you're not really doing nothing with your life. Like it's mad opportunities out here to do. And myself, I made a clothing line, and I also do music too on the side. So feel me, I got something going for myself, and I just want to see everybody else. Eating too, feel me? Put that on, so. It's more like a get rich or die trying. Yeah, it's like, like yeah. from you gotta like, go hard, regardless. Like that's that's what I, I kind of get from what you're trying to say. It's more of a you gotta go hard. It's, you feel me? If you slacking, if you're not going as hard, cause it's, it's people willing to to die for their work. Like they put in work for years. They got right. kids, so people willing to die for the work they put in. Right. You feel me? So we really came from shit though. Like all we really trying to do is show the people and the youth that it's more to life than just killing. Like. Or being in these streets and like living a lie, like you might as well just be yourself. Nine times out of ten, you gonna be successful in life, right? But like, it don't matter if you making music, clothing, you cook, clean, material things. If you doing hair, anything, like whatever makes you happy, just do that shit, for real, for real. Right, Moving forward, let's talk about the creativity, cause I see you, you, you experiment with a lot of different colors, a lot of different styles. Like, where you get your creativity? I mean, like, I always been creative with stuff, so like, I like to try new stuff every single day. Like, I stick with one little logo just to get it out there for a while, but I got a hundred more in the back of just to show off. Like, I'm just a creative person. Like, I always, always knew what I like to do. I like to do different stuff. Like, you see how you got this right here? You got live for money. Pressure is like, it's pressure in life, for real, for real. So like we fighting every day to get money or dying to get money. 
So it's really pressure in this life. Like everybody put pressure on themselves just to go get some money. Let me ask you though. Um, for a lot of people with clothing brands, they feel as if they can't wear somebody else's stuff because that goes against their promotion. It's you know not. I mean? It's not it's like, like that, that though. I mean, um, people I'm gonna feel like, like you'll be surprised. <laughs> People gonna yeah, feel like yeah. that, but at the same time, it's not nothing like that. Everybody should support yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Like, even if y'all not cool, or if like you cool with somebody and they not cool with your friend, like, and they rocking something you made, it shouldn't be like that. Like, if you like what somebody got, wear it. It should be no reason everybody hating on each other. Everybody gonna have the same hustle and get their money the same way get and support the, the same way. way. Exactly. Yeah. If everybody support each other, you gonna get farther in this. Like, we small. We from Trenton, New Jersey. It's small out here. And everybody is so tight, everybody know each other, so like, I don't know, like, I support everybody, feel me? If I yeah. like this stuff, I'm going to support you. Even if I don't, I'm going to still support because that's, feel me, it's good business. But nine times out of ten, I'm going to like what you make because I see your hustle in it, just like I see my own hustle, feel me? It ain't, it ain't too many of us, though. Like, it's really people that have the mindset of, if I go outside and I got, say I got, you feel me, left some money on, if I go outside, somebody see it. And they ask me, okay, where, where'd you get that? Is that yours? The fact that they have a clothing brand, you feel me, that it kind of hurts their ego. So, like, it shouldn't be nothing for me to be like, oh, no, this is my boy's stuff. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You shouldn't even have to feel the need to feel like it's taken away from your promotion. Right. So we back, man. And one thing I want to touch on is the fact that we have a growing, small economy within ourselves of people creating their own businesses. So what's some advice that you have to these people start clothing brands, you know, doing things in that sort, starting brands in, in any sense? What's some advice you have? A couple, a little advice for everybody. Invest in yourself, like invest your money into yourself. Save it up. Make sure you got enough money to start what you want to do. And make sure you got enough money to back it up when you start. Because nothing's free. So you can't give people no deals and none of that. Like, they got to understand your hustle in this. Like, everybody start off small. So you got to, feel me, is nothing should be free. Family, they all like, they all want to, like, they all want something for free or whatever, but you got to let them know, like, this should be getting in your hustle. Yeah, business, business. Even if it's from $10 to 20 it's a hustle. Like, I would want to give you that profit the same way you would give it to me, like, I would pay for your stuff just like you would pay for mine. So, and another thing is like once you invest in that, just make sure like you got a perfect vendor or you doing it on your own. Cause you can't go to certain places. They just gonna cheat you about your money. Like, there's ways you can get it out here quicker, done, all that. Like me and my boy, feel me? We do this shit on our own. We grab, we grab our merch and do it ourselves. Feel me? And it's not just no simple shit like pressing on and all that. Like it's more to it. Process. It costs money to, <laughs> to get the product, like the material, the all that. So when people say you're just doing this and that, laying the, laying the logo on the hoodie, all that, it's not just that. Like, it's mm -hmm. more to it out here. That's what y'all see, but that's not really what it is. You feel me? It's a lot more work that comes to that. Like, they don't see yes, all sir. the hours and all the grinding. Like, you, you, you could be up all night making clothes. Yeah, for real. Shit, I used to stay up all night just making merch, just to practice on, not just for people, just to practice on, to see what I really like, or to give off, to see what other people like or what they fucking with, feel me? Like, I, I gotta see what the crowd like more than what I like, because that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna bring them in, what they like. So what I like, it matters, but it's more what they like, so I like to get the crowd attention to see what they, feel me, the energy they give off to what I make, and that's just gonna make me stay to it, feel me? What's, what's what's next for live for money? Um, live for money next. I mean, it's winter time coming up, so for me, it's gonna be a whole lot of new shit. Like we already got sweatsuits and all that, but we trying to go deeper into it. Like we trying to get into real clothing, like custom jeans, all that. It's gonna be it's not gonna be custom no more. It's gonna be real live for money jeans, real live for money sweatsuits, real coats, real like denim jeans, all that jackets. Yeah track jackets, all that. So for me, we just really working right now. That's why we just quiet right now, because we really working. So what's next up is y'all surprised, feel me? How you feel about a store? Like, if you had a store for all the brands, I think that's something that... For all brands? Yeah. That'd be dope, no cap. That'd be dope, because, like, there's a lot of brands out here. So you put all that in one store, 
It's gonna be yeah. good for the community to come out. Like, oh yeah, support. Feel me? Oh, brand, that would be a good idea. But like at the same time, everybody don't be having that that that, that pride in them to go do that for other people because they like, what if somebody don't don't like my stuff or what they don't fuck with it? But you really can't think like that. All right, man, we back. And I want to talk a little bit about your brand. And I don't necessarily mean just um, your clothing brand. I know you also make music. So mm -hmm. that's, a, that's another concept of your brand you should add some light to. For me, yeah, I do music too. Feel me? Alpha Run Man, you can search me up. I'm on all platforms right now. And I've been doing music for like a year now. So I'm about to be almost two, but it's still a year freshly. And feel me? I'm just working on that too with the brand. And feel me? I also got my brother. Trade band with me too. And we we really created this Live for Money Dot for Cash on our own, feel me? So we really just he had the music at first and then I thought about taking off with the brand. So I'm like, I'm about to make a clothing line out of it. So that's how it all started off. And then feel me? Now we both make music. So now we just really making it stretch, like we expanding our music with the brand. We wearing the clothing and videos music we saying it in our music so people can get it out there and like really hear what we talking about yeah, so um what about the website i know um for a lot of us clothing brands we all got a website under construction it's kind of a little hard to have the balance of everything else but i feel as if the website is very important trying to talk website on the way i'm sure you got a website yeah i got a website on the way too it's gonna be live for money live for money clothing so we working on that right now we just had our first photo shoot about like three weeks ago. So we got a lot of photos for the website, a lot of merch coming into it with it. So people could just order in and then we ship it out or anything, so feel me? Is the uh, website something that you genuinely are happy about? Or yeah, do you, or like, do you really I'm, like? I'm happy about the website. It just, for me, it's a lot that come with the website. Like you gotta make sure everything good, no mistakes. You gotta make sure you on time with all the the orders and shipment, all that. So I'm just getting all that like ready are for you. Are you used to delivering your own merchandise? Yeah, so I do that all the time. Are you gonna miss like the personal interaction with people buy stuff? I'm not gonna miss it because I know it's still gonna be happening. Even if I got a website, people still in my town, I'm gonna go deliver it to them. Cause that's for me, they can meet me. They can see what I really do behind, like behind the action of lifting money, Dr. Cash. I can really talk to them like, yeah, this what this city about. Oh uh, blah, feel me. It's all it's a lot to it, but like for people that I can't do that for, so that's what the website for. It's gonna have a whole description in the bio about what it's about and like the the growth and then the movement, all that. I ain't gonna lie, it gets it gets very comfortable posting your merch for the local people because it's gone. Mm -hmm. When you when you get comfortable dealing with your local crowd and you're succeeding with that crowd, sometimes we get a little comfortable caught up in that. But just like you said, we're trying to expand outside of Trenton, and we kind of do the people outside of Trenton a disservice when we don't have a website. You know, so that's something like we meet you and me, like all of us clothing brands need right. to focus on making sure we have a website for people outside of Trenton. But uh, I wanted to touch on a little bit of um, you and your you and your friendship with Trey Bando. It's not too often you see um, genuine friendships and genuine teams that actually push and support each other. Could you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, well, me and him, we've been cool for years, like 10 years plus. That's my brother for life, feel me, for life. Is, and feel me? There's no bad blood in this, in this business stuff, because, like, we came up with it together with the name, and then from the name, we just rocked on. It's really just us two at first. But, you know, as we start saying it more, everybody, like, yeah, I fuck with Live for Money, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, like, it's really a brotherhood. It's, couple of us in it, feel me? But it's not too many people that can really say they live for money because they really not. And there's not no gang or none of that. It's just like a brotherhood and we turned it into a lifestyle. Like we really out here living for money. So that's really what it is. Like we've been through a lot in life. So feel me? We just trying to explain what we've been through through the clothing line. They want to know our lifestyle. We're going to show it through the clothing line, through the music. We're going to express how we feel through the music and through the clothing. They're going to feel what we've been through. So that's all really to it. I mean, that's my brother for life and we for live for money. Really. Having a multi-headed business, right? Mm -hmm. From different outlets. It raises your chances of success higher. 
are you ready for it? Like, as far as success, as far as people around you changing, as far as people that's not there going to be there, people that's there leaving, like, do you feel you and your team are ready for, like, the entire atmosphere around you to change once you become successful? Because with having, you raise your chances doing multiple things, so it's liable to be there. Right. I so, mean, I feel like... Because a lot of people it's start the businesses, a lot of people do stuff, and success is their dream, but they don't really believe in it. Right. But when the chances are as high as that y'all trying to make it for yourselves, it's going to come. Right. That's a fact. So I feel you? like, yeah, I'm ready for it. Can't lie, I'm ready for it. I know how it's going to be. Like, it's 2020. I've been, I'm 24. I've been growing for a while now, and I've been growing up watching people become famous, people lose the fame. All that. So I know how it's gonna be when you hit that certain potential in life when you famous or you gain clout on your name. I know how it's gonna be. People gonna fuck with you, people gonna act like you changed, people gonna hate. Feel me? That's just the life. And like I can't let none of that knock me. Like if I make it to be successful with this clothing brand or music, I'ma just have to knock that out how I can. Like I can't let nobody knock my hustle or downgrade me. There you have it. You gotta live for money, die for cash in the building. Um, make sure you, you follow the page, follow me on Instagram, follow at L4M.D4C clothing. That's the Instagram page for the clothing brand. We also got a website coming soon too, so that'll be out there for everybody also. But right now we just got the Instagram page for everybody. So L4M.D4C clothing. You can follow us on there. Put your orders in and we're going to get it too, straight like that.